M0FXB, so you've registered with YSX, you've got your node number, you've got the STU20 cable, and you've downloaded and installed the driver, the USB driver for the SCU19 cable. So now you just want to do the first time activation. So they send you your numbers and they you can download the PC software here. Uh, just click node owners page when you log into the account you created and look why is X PC and I think it even gives you the drivers that you need as well. So once you've done that, you'll have a little green shortcut here with a green uh, background and a red X. Double click that. Now you need to put your radio into YSX PDN mode. So hold down the X and the band. So it's the X and the band when the radio is turned off. And then holding those two buttons down, turn on the radio. And it will say direct mode on the screen if you've done this correctly. And just to let you know, if you push AB, you're in access mode, which means you can use another radio to talk via this radio. And we will show that as well. But anyway, for now, direct mode. So we'll do our first time activation. So we'll double click. The X. And just remember, you will have to select the correct COM port. So right click your device manager, like so. Double click ports, and mine it's prolific USB to serial COM port 10. There you are, so it's 10 there, and then refresh, and then click OK, and then you'll get this YSX window start to appear. And if you've never been on here before, it's going to ask you for your numbers that are linked to the ID of that radio, which is here, which you would have given to YSX. So then we put in the two numbers. So the room ID for me is 794. I'll see the node ID, 23. And the room is always just another digit up, 89423. And if I've got them right, click ID entry, it matches it all up, then click OK and we're straight into the YSX system. Just click OK for now and we'll just let that populate, it takes a minute. And as that populates, it's got some of my favourites in there from before, but anyway, at the bottom you've got your room IDs, so on these you can right click and save these at the top here, which becomes like shortcuts. Just right click anyone and click add to bookmark, and you've added one to bookmark, or you can right click and you can even connect and get more information as well. Um, you can connect just by putting numbers in by going connect to, and I could put in here, that is a, a previous one, 21080, which is America Link. We'll click OK and we'll, we should connect in and be able to hear as long as there's activity. Let's just work this out. We'll put it into, we'll push AB and we'll see if it lets me go in that way a second. So with this method, when you boot up and you hold down the X and the GM button and you go to direct mode, this method, you can actually push the X button and it will let you link in to the system and then you can use the search direct system on the actual radio to change rooms. So at the moment it's selected CQ UK. Now we could search by typing search direct and then all and it will find lots of rooms. Give that a minute, there you are, and then let's just choose one. Cool, quite a few here. Just scrolling down using the radio, let's just select one, that one there, and then we'll select it, and it should connect to that room. There you are, we've got some activity there. And then I've managed to disconnect using the the computer. Let's see if it will let me connect to a, a room now or if we have to keep using the radio. Yes, so it's it's making me keep using the radio. Let's go 27793. Yeah, so it looks like I have to use the radio at the moment. Let's work out which buttons we press so we can use the actual PC alone. Right, so the other system is if you hold down the back and the X button while turning on, it allows you to control it from the PC. So we'll do back, X, 
and turn on. We're still in direct mode and now we'll look at the PC and if we go connect to choose say 27793 which is CQUK you got some activity there so this is PDN mode okay so the next yeah, thing I think you need your TMR if we push AB when someone's not speaking with a bit of luck it will come out of my other radio so, that's it. so we're now in access mode which means we've hit the AB button the frequency is on the screen we can select the frequency by going file transceiver and change the frequency here on the left like so and then type that in and then we've put a simplex DN channel into our Yesu FT70. I can now walk around the room and I can call in um, for a, a contact so I'll try it now. M0 FXB for an audio check so you need to turn down the volume on the FT2 you get an echo. Let's make sure we're connected to CQ UK again. Uh, it looks like someone might be talking. No, so let's give it a go. Mike Zero, Fox X3 Bravo, calling for an audio check. So I could go anywhere in the house. No one's replying. If you look on the screen, you'll see me keep you, it go green. Mike Zero, Fox X3 Bravo, this is you, Mike Zero, Fox Zero, Fox Zero, Fox Zero, Fox Zero, Fox Zero, Fox be more specific if no one else has come up. G4RQU, David in Hunstanton. Uh, G4RQU and the other station. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm just testing my uh, FT70, believe it or not, via an FT2D in PDN mode. So using two radios. Andreas, Western Supermare, M0FXB. There you are. It's working great. And we've got all these rooms we can connect to at the bottom. In the middle here is all the different users and that's the PDN yeah, system so the the FT2D is effectively yeah, a hotspot on PDN mode 73 thanks for watching my channel catch you on air all the best